More and more electric cars are hitting the roads, and because of that, many manufacturers have switched from making fueled power cars to EVs, and states across the nation are preparing to make sure that they have charging stations that sh support the shift. We checked in with a Honda Manufacturing Center in Marysville, where they are taking a very different approach to these electric vehicles. Tenevi's Kristen McFarland has more details for us tonight. According to the International Energy Agency, electric car sales could reach 17 million this year. That's about one in every five cars sold worldwide. Some are hesitant to switch from gas to electric because of driving range, charging time, and the upfront cost of owning an EV. Today, Honda's Performance Manufacturing Center announced a new type of emission-free vehicle, a hydrogen-powered electric car. We wanted to combine both, uh, both the battery technology, the EV technology, so we could have some plug-in capability and range for short trips in town, as well as the hydrogen um, allows you for extended, uh, extended travel. Last year, Governor Mike DeWine announced a $140 million investment in charging stations. Engineering project leader Joe Mazzucci says Honda's goal is to become 100% electric by 2040. The International Energy Agency says electric car prices could come down as more roll off the manufacturing line. In Marysville, Kristen McFarland, 10 TV News. Kristen, thank you. There are currently no hydrogen stations in Ohio. The cars will be leased in California where Honda can collect the data and a price for the car has not yet been determined.